This is a Noodles production. This is a Noodles production. Yo, what's going on? It's D Man, you already know. Bringing to you some NBA 2K15 today. We rocking that rec center, running with our styles, King Dooms, my boy Prof. And of course, we got Godzilla, the Sean Bradley of the Jordan Rec Center at the five spot. And we out here trying to put in some work. This whole day, we was pretty much just having a great session, having a lot of fun. And you see how we starting this game off. Everybody already banging out, everybody freaking around. That's what we like to do. And I will say, warning you right now, that will be the story of this game, man. That rim, it gets freaked a lot. So you see me trying to throw oop up to Zilla. I wanted him to dump that so badly, but he still caught the pass. He was still able to get the easy deuce. But come on, Zilla, you know how we do out here, man. We trying to style and profile. So you see us playing a little D down there. Ah, uh, Styles. Styles? I don't know about that one. I mean, you could have thrown that oop up to Prof. I just said it. We trying to style and profile. Your name is Style. How you not going to style and profile when your name is Styles? Come on, B. But anyways, we back at it. Look at me, getting blocked. I didn't want to go for that reverse, man. I really didn't, but luckily, Prophecy was right there. He picked up the loose ball, got himself a nice little dunk in. But like I was saying before, these Sunset Beach Ballers, they was playing us in a good game. They weren't cheesing or anything like that. You see they have a three-point lead, but King Doom said, well, there, boy, don't go there, boy. You all should know by now that Dooms is not going to miss from that corner. So anyways, peep this play. I mean, the vision from Prophecy. I pass it to Prop in the corner. He's gonna throw a cross court oop to King Dooms. You know King Dooms is gonna dump that, but man, that pass though. That pass though was something nice, Prof. Let me borrow your vision real quick. I need that. Let me see if I could drop a nice little dime real quick. Styles gonna pass it over to me. I'm gonna pass it to Prof, and Prof is gonna take that all the way. That was a nice pass from the Negro Kuriko. That's what I like to call myself. So anyways, you see they're trying to push it in. Of course, that's not gonna work. We got Zilla down there, and you know we leaking out. Look at our Styles throwing that ball up. You see me throwing it down on the oop. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. And that was a nice look from our Styles. Honestly, Styles has been passing so much this game. He said, hold on, man. Let me get one real quick. Let me freak the rim. Ooh, Styles, you should have dumped that one. You had the animation, but it was still a nice finish. I'm not going to hate on that finish at all. So anyways, we're trying to lock up. We have a little bit of a lead, but we haven't been able to stop them from scoring. But they finally missed a shot. I'm trying to run this break real quick. I'm looking for King Dooms, and look at Dooms taking off once again. This whole game, King Dooms was just showing off those bunnies, showing off that bounce. That boy out here like Kevin Gates, man, he don't get tired. He was dunking the whole game. If he keeps it up, though, he's going to have knees like Greg Oden. So, Dooms, I'm going to need you to chill. We about to trade places real quick. Instead of throwing the oop to Dooms, Dooms said, hold up, boy. Let me throw that oop to you now, and that's what we're going to do. So, we just switching it up. But I told you at the beginning of the video, everybody was out here banging. Everybody was throwing down some type of dunk. Look, from the inbounds play, you see Dooms going to find Styles on the cut. I know a lot of people are saying that alley oops are so unstoppable. And I can admit that some passes get through that shouldn't get through. But for the most part, if you leave that back door open, if you leave a lane open, we going to notice that. And that's how we get our oops off, man. The cuts to the basket were too real this game. So I'm wide open for a mid-range jumper. I'm going to knock that down, and we need these buckets because these Sunset Beach Ballers are keeping up with us. We're only down by one point, but it's funny because we're playing like we're up by 20. The Doom James out here banging down alley oops left and right, and you see we got to get back on deep. Styles going for a charge cheese, but that's a good thing he did that because oh a piece of candy. He was able to get a steal, kicking it up the Dooms. You know Dooms throwing that lob up to your boy once again. Told you, all-star game at the JRC. That chemistry on a hundred though, not a hundred, but a hundred. But watching this gameplay over, how do you guys feel about dunk fatigue? Now, we all know that there's shot fatigue in 2K, but honestly, sometimes I wish that there was something like dunk fatigue simply because I kind of aim for realism, even though we're out here playing unrealistic, as you see me catching that three real quick. But sometimes I think about a dunk fatigue kind of like shot fatigue because Dunking, it takes a lot out of you. It takes a lot out of your legs and your muscles. And everybody be out here just dunking like they don't have any type of stamina bar. And it's weird because you do have stamina at the JRC. But this isn't something I'm pushing for. I'm just wondering how that will work out. Of course, it wouldn't be in all modes like the park or the stage because you're supposed to have fun on those modes. 
but I think it would add some type of skill gap. And you know me, I'm all for skill gap. I think it would be dope to say something like, yo, don't oop it to me on this fast break because I've been dunking the last few times up the floor and I won't be able to throw it down. I don't know, man. I think it would be crazy to play 2K that way. I actually like it, but who knows? Like I said, it's not something I'm pushing for. It's just something I'm thinking about. But until then, we're going to be out here banging out, throwing down lobs all game, just like this game. So, oh, a piece of candy, we get another steal. And as always, I Styles throwing that lob up. I'm not sure how I caught that pass, but I'm not going to ask any questions about it. I mean, I got the points, and that's all we care about in life is getting buckets. So here we go. Fast break after fast break, lob after lob. And we broke this game wide open. But these Sunset Beach Ballers tried to make a little push. We're only up by five now. But you know my boy, Ah uh, Styles, being Chris Cow with the shot. He's shooting that three, putting a dagger in this game. Any hope of a comeback is gone. It's over. All we have to do is run out the clock. I'm exposing Dunes right here. You see him left right in? Hey, I'm not going to say nothing. But look at this fake pass by Zilla, faking everybody out. And he's getting a turnaround jumper to go. Come on, Zilla. You didn't even have to do him like that. Or maybe you did. It'd be like that sometimes. So we get a nice win against these Sunset Beach Ballers. They gave us a good game, man. So anyways, I'll hug you all later. Peace.